Good morning, everybody. It is Tutor Tip Tuesday-ish. Yesterday was so crazy with so many different things that I honestly didn't even have time to sit down and give you guys a Tutor Tip Tuesday. So it's late, but I am here and I have a brand new Tutor Tip for you. Today's topic is all about then versus than. T-H-E-N versus T-H-A-N. As always, some of you may think that's totally straightforward. What? No, a lot of people struggle with this. And I am here for you. Because not that long ago, I learned, well not learned, but I understood the difference finally. Like I finally just clicked. And sometimes that's all you need is just for something just to click and then all of a sudden you understand it. So today we're going to talk about the difference between the two, how you can remember, and examples to show you that there is a difference. Now, when you are talking to someone, you aren't really concerned of which then or than you are using. It's the same as last time when we were talking about the three theirs. You don't always hear the difference unless someone enunciates very hard but when you are writing you can see the difference it's just a one letter difference but the definition is a huge significant difference i'm saying different a lot today so let me pause real quick and i'm going to show you the difference between the two words okay so we have our first than right here so t-h-a-n the way that I remember is that we have an A right there, and this means amount or a comparison between something, um, two things, three things, there's a comparison between them. I like watermelon more than pineapple. We have a comparison between the watermelon and the pineapple and which one I like more. So whenever you have T-H-A-N, it is a comparison, an amount, A, amount. That's how I remember. Then T-H-E-N is all about time. So the way I remember, E, E. They both have E's in them. Then and time. Her lower lip pushed out and then she started to cry. It is all about timing with T-H-E-N. So as I said, some people might think that this is a pretty simple thing to understand, but... Hopefully this has helped some of you who maybe you just never clicked before and now you can understand that one, there is a difference. Two, it's very easy to understand that difference once you get my shortcuts. And three, you only need to know the difference when you are writing. When you are talking, no one really pays attention like, oh, they just used the wrong then. It's them. Like no one is hopefully acting like that. It's only when you are writing that you should really focus on which one you are using, All right? So today was a pretty casual kind of Tutor Tip Tuesday-ish. Um, next week, you know, give me some ideas. I'm not running out of ideas, but let me know if there's anything that you want to learn about for next time, okay? So I look forward to talking to you guys all again soon, and I'll see you in a week on an actual Tuesday. I promise. Bye, guys.